Remember this weekend to turn those clocks forward. Daylight savings starts early Sunday morning, and that means we'll lose an hour of sleep. And we all know how big of a deal that extra hour is. The now's Kristen Scovier in the newsroom. And Kristen, even doctors say the time change can throw people into a funk. That's right, a funk that can even be harmful to your health. I spoke to a sleep expert at National Jewish who says even small differences in our daily routine can cause big problems later on. Most of us enjoy that extra hour of daylight, but science says we pay the price springing forward. That includes um, increased rates of driving accidents, increased rates of unintentional injuries and accidents, um, poor grades for schools aged children, and um, higher rates of heart attacks. Heart attacks? It's true. Pediatric sleep psychologist Lisa Meltzer says throwing off our internal body clocks can throw us off our game. According to a 2014 study, a Colorado researcher found heart attacks increased by 25 percent in hospitals the Monday immediately following the daylight saving time change. And that first week after we go on to daylight saving time, it's really difficult for people to wake up and kids in particular, and especially when they have early school start times. So grades in general have been shown to be lower. In fact, here in Colorado, many of our school districts are starting their standardized testing Monday morning. Not great timing, according to sleep experts like Lisa. And these are the tests that so much is based on, and yet we're not providing our students with their optimal ability to, you know, to perform. So um, it's quite concerning. So how can we stay one step ahead of the time change, avoid feelings of fatigue, and those multiple cups of coffee? So the ideal is to start going to bed a little bit earlier each night. But why not ditch daylight saving time altogether? There's a number of factors that go into it, financial, um, business related, school related. Um, and so it's not as simple as change it or don't change it. But at the very least, people do need to be aware that losing an extra hour of sleep this weekend um, could set them up for potential negative outcomes next week. Daylight saving time is used in 70 countries, mostly to cut down on energy costs. Here in Colorado, a couple is leading a campaign to keep us on daylight saving time year round. They're gathering signatures and they hope to get it on the ballot for 2016.